Good morning, Adventure Nation. We are still here in Amarillo, Texas, but we're going to roll out today down Route 66. Route 66, for the most part, from here over to Albuquerque is Interstate 40, but we are going to dip and dive off it as we deem necessary because I got this book yesterday when we were in Palo Duro Canyon, and it's got some of the stuff on Route 66. is going to put a lot of detours in our travels. Not a lot of detours. It's going to put a couple of detours in our travel. And the first one is just three miles up the road. And one of the reasons we didn't just roll down the road last night, uh, one of the attractions that uh, is is synonymous with Route 66 I would say that would is this cool next one. one. Yeah. So I would say that's a cool one. we're going to go check that out now. And uh, yeah, we stayed at the Sam's Club here on the west side of it's the first time we do that. Amarillo, right? yeah, we've never stayed at a Sam's Club. It was awesome. We're right here beside the Home Depot. So we had Home Depot Wi-Fi, which was cool. And I, we didn't really use it. I was editing, so I didn't really use it last night. But that, that you have that option is kind of cool. Very quiet. Obviously, Sam's Club closes down, so pretty, pretty quiet at night. Now we're going to roll down the road. And our ultimate goal today will be Albuquerque. The piece of art that we're about to go see now is a, you know, kind of a must-see icon for Route 66. And what's funny about that is that it's never been located on Route 66. <laughs> Even when it got moved here in 1997, still it is an icon for this part of the highway and this part of the country. So we decided to come out and check it out. I have seen it in a lot of pictures and movies. Pictures, and movies. Stuff like that. So this will be this will be interesting. I'm definitely gonna get the drone out. Nice work, Lori. <laughs> TME. <laughs> now, I will say, I don't know about a must-see roadside icon. <laughs> I would say that it's a, if you are driving directly past it, like we were, to see it, but I wouldn't say to go too far out of your way yeah, to come see this thing. you're in a very near radius. And if you pass on the highway, you cannot really see it. You see like little cars way out there. Yeah, you. I, I've driven by this thing a bunch of times when I was driving truck and I didn't know it was here. I, <laughs> it's it's a little ways off. Look, if you're not really paying attention, still pretty cool. Kind of a neat piece of art. Cool. There is an art guy somewhere here in town that they mention in the book that makes art from chips of paint off the cars, you can see how coated the paint was on the cars, pretty cool. The Cadillac Ranch is a very popular spot. Plenty of parking on either side for any size rig. Doesn't matter whether you have a Volkswagen or a tractor trailer. And pretty busy spot. Now they do encourage people to paint the cars and you can see the thick paint out there, but you're also encouraged to pack your stuff back out which a lot of people obviously haven't done which makes it kind of a mess but there was, there was one, one family, family yeah they were picking up all the empty cans around and just take them to the garbage so they were really nice. teaching their kids to pack up a bunch of cans they brought extra bags and packed up a bunch of cans 
and I thought that was awesome, and I told him so, so that was really cool. Good parenting. We are in the little town of Vega. This is the Oldham County Courthouse. Built in 1915, it's kinda cool. But that's not what we're here to see. We're here to see this old gas station. This is called Magnolia Station, and it's a 1920s gas station that's been restored and looks, looks pretty cool. Yeah. And there's a Longhorn staring at us from across the street, wondering what we're doing. Oh, that is a cool old Schwinn bike there. That is awesome. Old barrels they used to ship gas in. Hopefully I can get a shot from this end. The old gas station. Pretty cool. What about up top there? I want to show you guys the the high security that you need in these little towns. Look at that. That's that's some that's some high security there to keep that bicycle locked up. That's awesome. Most of you folks know how these older pumps work, but just in case you don't, let's go through it quick. You saw the barrels on the other side. That's how the gas arrived at the station. I'm gonna have to pause here for a second because this guy. So they would use those barrels to fill these up. This particular one held 10 gallons. I don't know if that's a standard or not, but this one held 10 gallons. So you can see zero at the top. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that in the sun or not, but zero at the top. So this was filled up. You would take the pump off. You would go to your car, fill it up, and this would draw down. And if it drew down to four gallons or five gallons or whatever, then that's what they would charge you for. Pretty simple, but pretty effective and at least you knew how much gas you were actually getting nowadays the pumps being electronic it's always weird to me like well how do I know that I'm actually pumping 30 gallons when it says 30 gallons it could be less it could be more too but I need to be more trusting pretty cool Lori is over here going I'm waiting you locked the door over there me so I have to be waiting here oh sorry yeah I did lock the door Sorry. Do you see how they, they had to lock their bicycle up? Did you see that? In a zip tie. Well, yeah, it was like a little piece of wire, but they had to lock it up. <laughs> Let's take a drive through town, shall we? This is Vega, Texas. We're gonna take a cruise through downtown here. All right, we're done. That's it, cruise through downtown is over. All right, you may have saw the sign there in town as we were turning right that said Old Route 66. As this book is explaining as we're going through these little towns, there's several versions of Route 66. There's the Old 66, which the majority of it now is probably dirt, and some of it is impassable, they said. But there are some parts of it that are dirt, especially up here, that you can actually drive down. We're not going to do that in the coach. But there's a lot, like, miles and miles that you can drive down that are dirt. Then there's Route 66 from the 50s, which is the majority of what we've been following. And that's the majority of the paved section that goes between being paved to being just a frontage road for Interstate 40 to actually being parts of Interstate 40. And that's why a lot of times we've just been driving on Interstate 40 rather than the frontage road because it's just smoother. And the plan wasn't to follow Route 66 to the letter anyways because we knew it was uh, gonna be rough in spots. And we will say that some of Route 66 that we followed yesterday may have taken over for the roughest road that we've traveled since Maine in uh, US 1. 
it was like two days ago. Like he literally took a half of my closet down. Everything is a mess. Yep. The bathroom toiletries and <laughs> And we are now in Adrian, and as you can see there on the left, that is the Midpoint Cafe. This is the midpoint of Route 66. Oh yeah. Right here. Oh. It says right there on the ground, midpoint. Right there. Midpoint, Route 66. So it says on the left. Okay, let me. Here, Lori, wanna shoot that out there? Yes. And that's how you know we're in the midpoint, right there. That's kind of cool. As you can see coming into view, we are leaving Texas and back into the land of enchantment. Hello, New Mexico. Woo, woo, woo. New Mexico. We'll be back in Texas in a few weeks. Yeah, we will be back. But New Mexico right now. We've spent a lot of time in New Mexico. We like New Mexico a lot. And look forward to this here. But we've got a little surprise coming up for you guys in just a, just a few seconds. That may have already been given away in the thumbnail or in the title. I don't know. We'll see. Lorraine and I decided to do a quick quiet lunch here in Tucumcari, New Mexico, but then this happened. <laughs> you guys might remember the Bayerina family from back in Galveston and Houston Austin. and Austin and all that Florida. stuff. So, yeah. Florida. Florida. Yeah, St. Augustine. So we happened to run into them down here in New Mexico, so we're going to go inside and have some lunch. Ready for some lunch, Fluff? Yeah! All right. <laughs> These guys have been out on the west coast and they're heading back towards the Texas area and we were on the east coast heading back west, so kind of timing worked out just fine. Two hours later. We're all done with lunch at Pizza Hut. Kids want to come out and see Ozzy. They don't care about me. They just want to see Ozzy. They don't care about Lori. Look, see all they want to do is just, Ozzy, Ozzy. This guy here. Hey, dude, say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's too cute, isn't he? You want to tell him about your YouTube video, your YouTube channel? When are you gonna, when are you gonna start your own YouTube channel, Fluff? Five minutes. About. In five minutes you're gonna start it? Oh, okay, cool. Subscribe. Bye guys. Adios. Safe Bye. travels. Bye. See ya. Bye, Bye Fluffy. Bye Fluffy. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> Always nice to see them. Always yeah. nice to say goodbye. Yeah. All right, down the road to Albuquerque. After driving from Arkansas to Oklahoma to Texas, most of it along Route 66, kind of in and out, we wound up here in Albuquerque. There were some neat surprises along the way. It was cool. I mean, first of all, it was a rough road, some parts of Route 66. Yeah, Route 66. But yeah. uh, we found out Palo Duro State Park that it was pretty amazing, a huge canyon. And it has been a lot of driving, but it has been beautiful driving too. It changed time zones and changed so many states. So. It's been pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of states in just a couple of days, but this is where we're going to call this one. So if it's your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date on all of our travels. It'd be equally as cool if you liked the video. Make sure you share it with some friends and family, and we'll see you again in another one. Bye, guys. Bye now. And as it dropped down, you would see how many gallons you used. They'd charge you for how many gallons you were used. Oh, you were used. Most of you guys know how these pumps work, but just in case you don't, let's go through it quick. There are barrels on the other side that I showed you. Those is how the gas, that's how the gas arrived here. Oh my God. Those are how the gas. Having one of those days, folks.